Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can work with multiple .NET Core runtimes installed on your machine. So on my machine, if I type in the .NET dash dash info command, you can see that I have many .NET Core SDKs installed. I got the newest version of the .NET, which is 5, then I have the .NET Core 3.1 and also 2.2. And for example, if I wanted to create a new console application in the 2.1 version of the .NET Core SDK, and if I would have done it like this, .NET new console with the name default, for example, then the .NET Core SDK will create a new console application with the default version of the .NET Core SDK on my machine, which is the version 5. So if I open the folder, and check the files inside of it. You can see that the default CS project is indeed in the version 5. So the question is, how can I create that project, that console project, in the version 2.1? Well, let's go back to the root folder. And in here, the first option to create a new project in a different version than the default one on my machine is to specify the framework parameter like this. So I would say .NET, new console, let's call it version 2.1. And then with the dash F parameter, I will specify the SDK to that console project. So I'll just type in netcore app 2.1. And this time, if I will go to that project, so 2.1, and open the files, you now will see that the target framework is indeed the Netcore App 2.1. So the first option to create a project in a version which is not default for your machine is to use the dash F parameter to specify the framework that you want to. And the second option is to use the global JSON file. So once again, maybe let's create a new folder this time for the 3.1 and inside this I could either create a new global JSON file by my hand or I can use the .NET Core CLI for that. So I will type in .NET new global JSON and I will have to specify the SDK version to the version that I want to work with. So let's say that in this folder, I want to work with the 3.1.102 version. So we got the message in the console, the template global JSON file was created successfully. And now if we look at this file, it is a simply a JSON file with one property for the SDK, which specifies the version to 3.1.102. And now what can I do in this folder? If I just type in .NET new console, like we did at the beginning of this video. Now this time, the .NET Core SDK will create that console application in the 3.1 version. So let's open the folder to check it out. And as you can see, the target framework is specified as Netcore App 3.1. So summing up, if you have many .NET Core SDKs installed on your machine and you want to work with different version from the default one, you will have to either specify the framework parameter when executing the .NET Core CLI commands, or you will have to create the global JSON file which specifies the .NET Core version for a given directory.